Hey folks, Chief here with Crazy Faith. It is September 22nd, 2015. It's a Tuesday night and I'm just getting back from Nisqually Jail. I was kicking it with the ladies. I think I had about 24, 25 young ladies. And Fury was over kicking it with the brothers. And he said that they had a phenomenal night. And there were about 20 men that were there. So... You know what? I am just grateful that we get to go. That we get to go all the places that we go. And it's not that we have to go. It's I get to go. We've been so busy. You know what? I think we're just going to get busier and busier and busier. But my body has just been so exhausted from running to and fro and going here and there and and I think it's funny because some people think all we do is is uh, a couple street feeds a week. <laughs> and, and you know what? When I'm not posting something, it's generally because I'm, I'm abundantly over busy. But I love that we get to go. So I'm not whining. I don't want to whine about it. I want to give God the glory that we get to go to all these places and meet people right where they're at. I started off tonight with praise reports because the devil hates, uh, he actually, he hates praise reports, but the devil loves dry places. And to keep things from being a dry place in our lives is we give praise reports. And there were a number of awesome praise reports from young ladies, young ladies that were testifying. One young lady testified about her grandmother being healed of cancer. Um, another young lady uh, was that she's going to be a grandma for the first time. And another young lady was that she's been delayed and she's getting clean because of it. There were others, so many uh, other praise reports. Well, you know what? I gave updates on all the different things Crazy Faith has been doing and offered up a bunch of praise reports as well. You know what? I could blather until the cows come home until you're fed, you feed them, you slaughter them, you feed them to everybody else, and then I'd still be talking, but giving praise reports. And But we had a great night. Again, for the second week in a row, because I was in a different cell, the Lord had me spit it from 1 Peter 3.18. It says, For Christ also suffered for sins once and for all, the righteous and the unrighteous, that he might bring you to God after being put to death in the in a fleshly realm, but made alive in the spiritual realm. See, I want to I want to point something out. For Christ also suffered for sins. It didn't say some sins, the little white lies. It didn't. It said for sins. Period. Not just he. Not his sins. All of our sins. I need you to know that. And it says, for Christ also suffered for sins once and for all. So when we go to God and we say, hey God, forgive me of my sins. Help me not to do the things that don't make you happy or I'm going to keep on doing them. I don't know what you see in my life. You see something. I give it to you and do whatever you want with it. Thanks for sending your son. When you say that, when you say the forgive my sins part, it's saying for the righteous and unrighteous. I know because I felt very unrighteous for a long, long time. I think there's some people watching this. And I, I asked, how many people feel unrighteous in here? And all these young ladies raised their hands. I said, good, because God uses the least likely for the Almighty, and you are qualified for that. Uh, let's see. Um, you know what? I'm going to stop there. Because I want to get to a, a couple prayer requests. I want you to be praying for these young ladies. I have a mom with diabetic needs. Uh, people to be reunited with their family. Unity and their family. Favor in court. Um, clarity and direction. You know what? There was a young lady that was clean 11 years. She was actually helping other young ladies. And something happened in her life, and it, boom, she said, Chief, when they say all it takes is one time, again, they mean it. Well, she 
fell down. And she went back to some, some of her old ways. She said, I'm in, she said, it's gone in such a bad direction. I'm in here for drugs and for prostitution. And she said, do you think God will ever forgive me for that? And I said, he already has. You prayed right back there. I heard you pray and I saw you pray. He's already forgiven you. When you mean it, when you're tired of being tired of being tired, Jesus meets you right there. I think there's someone watching this tonight that needs to hear that. Jesus loves you. He's always going to be there for you, even when you don't even want to be there for yourself. Well, folks, we need Bibles to hand out. We need Bibles, Bibles, Bibles. I prefer soft-covered Holman Bibles. Soft-covered, um, not, not King James. It's just too chewy for them. And it can't be hardbacks. It can't be a hardback. It's got to be softback. So let's, I don't want, I'm, I'm going to put a specific out here. I'm, I'm not requesting for King James and I'm not requesting for NIV. NIV leaves verses out and I, I that's not how crazy faith rolls. We're not going to manipulate the Bible. Um, so if you have other Bibles that you, you want to send, there's going to be an address attached to this. You can mail it or you can go to our website at I am crazy faith dot com click donate now and email me and say hey i sent some funding and i i want it to go towards bibles and we'll, we'll put it towards the bibles so you have a great night i love you i'm proud of you and i'm praying for you hoyt